swing, so I'm going to be doing the movement and Kurt's going to talk you through. So I just want to really want to demonstrate how you can show different intensities to the swing for different purposes, all right? So, two hand swings. So this is the style of two hand swing that we teach everyone once they start working with us. Basics, moving the kettlebell, the arms are nice and straight and extended. Tom is tightening up the top when he has to, relaxing just enough to bring the kettlebell down. He's engaging the hips, the glutes, the core is doing the majority of the work. That's what's firing that kettlebell up. His hands are relaxed on top. He's just making sure that kettlebell doesn't go flying away. And because he maintains that, that softness on top, he can turn around and do anything he wants with that kettlebell when it gets the zero G on top. So he can split it, he can do all kinds of transfers. But he's tight when he has to be tight, and he's loose when he has to be loose, okay? So a lot of people tend to overwork the swing when they first start. Now, depending on the type of workout we're trying to do, if we're doing just a good basic kettlebell swing like this, this is a nice smooth momentum, he's in good control, that's great. But if we're doing a larger challenge, as you'll hear a lot of times we have thousand rep challenges, where we might say, hey, two or three hundred kettlebell swings. Well, all of a sudden, he's gonna change his form. He's tightening up, he's absorbing the energy, but firing it back into the kettlebell quicker, so he's being more efficient and he's not wasting any excess energy. He's driving back and forth with that kettlebell. His swings are tor uh, tighter, they're shorter, much more efficient, so he's gonna be able to get to that goal of the longer reps. The other time we use that is if we're working with any athlete and we wanna work with explosive you know, strength, whether it's powerlifting, uh, any type of uh, contact sport, there's a time and a place where you need to be able to engage quickly and then relax. Like basically fire everything at once and then slow it down. And then even in our other training, we can even have that methodology when we're working with, with our groups, saying slow swings versus fast swings. So it really helps change it up. It's still a swing, it's just tweaking it to do different things. 